Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a new video. It's a beautiful, mild morning, and rain is forecast, and I can feel it in the air. So I have a couple things that I want to do before I get started back to work on the closet. I have a tarp to stick up over the window. The tarp is back, the window, still not done. One day, one day I'll have a window. And I have some chainsawing to do. I have that massive pile of firewood down there, and I would prefer if it didn't get all wet, even though it won't take long to dry back out. The whole point of having the firewood was to get it, stack it, dry it, and keep it protected from the elements. And currently, half of it is sitting in a pile. And that's because half of it, or maybe a third of it, is too big to fit in my log burner. So I have to do a whole bunch of chainsawing this morning, chopping it to the right size, and then I'll also try to make some kindling and store that away as well. So. Before I get into the work that I actually want to do, I have some rain preparations to make. So let's get chainsawing. I've got a few other things to do this morning as well, so I don't know how much of this I'm going to get through, but I'm going to give it my best shot, and hopefully after I'll have some time to also make some kindling and stack it under the tarp. So, I've got my work cut out for me this morning, but I really do enjoy a chainsawing session now and then. So progress has been slow, but I'm making a dent in it. There are so many huge logs in there, which is kind of annoying because I don't think I could have been any clearer with the guy about having small pieces. But I should have learned my lesson by now. That's just kind of what happens here. So uh, yeah, I've got a lot of chainsawing still to do, but I haven't had breakfast yet. So I'm going to go up and have some coffee, have some breakfast, and I'll plonk myself down next to my little log that I make kindling on, drink my coffee, a little bit of axy axe and see if I can make some kindling from the off cuts. This wood is called Platino. I've discussed it in a previous video. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I suspect it's London Plain, which I've never heard of. It's super dense, which means that it's going to be great for burning uh, once the fire gets really hot, but it also means it's difficult to chainsaw and I'm not sure what it's going to be like to split it into kindling, so it'll be interesting to find out. Anyway, it is absolutely essential that I get some coffee and breakfast into me. So I'm going to do that and I'll check in again when I'm ready to make some kindling. 
So my chopping block is currently holding the poly tunnel down and I could obviously untie it and retie it or I can just park myself here. This might be a lot less enjoyable than I anticipated. Some of these pieces are pretty tough, but I'll keep at it until I get bored. And hopefully I have a tiny supply of kindling by the end of it. Uh, yeah, it seems like this might be a lot of work for not a lot of result, but I'm enjoying it for the moment, so I'll just keep at it and then give up when I get bored. That is a tough piece. Okay, I'm gonna get back to it. I've still got a lot of chainsawing in my future, so I'll check in again when hopefully I have it all done, stacked and covered. The clouds are rolling in. I've been sawing for, not for too long actually, but I'm sort of at the mercy of the batteries. So I have eight Makita batteries, and that's a lot, but I'm finding that the chainsaw really, really chews through them. I only get maybe about one and a half wheelbarrows, or even one wheelbarrow full of wood before, I'll come back for that, before the batteries die. So I've got three batteries down at a time, and yeah, it's just kind of churns through them. Maybe they last about 15 to 20 minutes, um, and a lot of that has to do with the density of the wood, and I also think my chainsaw needs a sharpen as well. So I have made a massive dent in this. My firewood stacking abilities are quite dubious, but it's gonna do the job. But I still have this big pile here, so because rain is coming and the clouds are coming and that's bad for my solar, I'm pretty conscious of my battery use. So I might try to get one more round of three batteries on this job a little later and then whatever's left I'll just pile on the pallets and I'll chop it later on. So I'm really happy with this effort and I'm really really excited to see how much rain we get later on. It really is a gorgeous day out here and honestly the summer we had was excellent. We had that one week of 40 degrees and a couple days here and there of high 30s but overall it was sort of under 35 and I can cope with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. So uh, yeah, it's been an amazing summer and I'm excited for the changing of the seasons. Really looking forward to the autumn and I feel like an adult because I have a lot of my firewood prepared. So yeah, it's been a, a nice morning and I'll check in again when that's done and hopefully when we have some rain. The clouds are rolling in and it's pretty amazing to see. So I'm pretty happy with the work I got done. I've chainsawed, I've made some kindling, I've done a whole bunch of little things around the place to prepare for the rain. I've picked some tomatoes and chilies, which I'm gonna process later today. I've covered up my window hole with a tarp. And now I'm just gonna eat some lunch, relax, and check back in again, hopefully when I can show you a lovely downpour of rain because the land really needs it and everybody always looks so forward to the first rain after the summer and it's just a really nice thing to see so hopefully i'll see you then and if not if it doesn't rain after all i'll be back down here finishing the chainsawing it smells like rain out here i can feel it coming very 
soon. What's that? It's raindrops. My car might actually get cleaned. That's good news. So the rain is here. The drops are big. There's lots of clouds. And I'm hoping for a nice big storm. The thunder is roaring. There's a chill in the air. And it's just wonderful. But I'm getting wet, so I'm gonna go back inside. But there's clouds everywhere. And yeah, I love it. I love it. But I'm getting cold. And it's time to hide in the house. Good morning. How did you think of the rain? You were very wet yesterday. You didn't seem to be bothered. So it's a gloomy but glorious morning. We ended up having quite a bit of rain last night and it was truly, truly wonderful. Despite the clouds and the gloom, it really is very beautiful out here. It's a little cold but kind of a perfect temperature for working outside. However, it's supposed to rain again starting very soon. So I'm going to bring my workbench in the house and I'm going to use this as an opportunity to focus on some hand tool stuff, some small carpentry things, possibly getting started on my bathroom area and possibly doing some stuff on the door. We'll see. Let me get the stuff set up and I'll check in again when I'm ready to get started. Okay, the seasons have officially changed. It's checking it down out there. I can't go out there any farther or I will get soaked. Luckily, I've set up a little workshop indoors and I'm about to get started on a bit of carpentry for the back of the door. I've taken a little break and the rain has let up quite a bit. I think it's actually dry out there right now. And that's good news, but it's ever present and looming. So rather than setting up outside, I'm just going to stick with my little indoor workshop for today and see what I can get done. So I have a few hopes for this little work session. The first one is going to be to try to turn this piece of wood here into a cover for this. It's going to involve some very uh, finicky stuff. I'd also like to use a piece of that wood to do the bottom and to put a little uh, brush thing on the bottom as well. So those are the two things I would love to get done. And as usual, I don't really have a plan, so I'm just gonna dive into the work and see how it all unfolds. So I've never used this type of saw in my life. I forgot I even had it until right now. Um, this is going to be pretty slow, so I'm going to check in again when hopefully I have two circles, half circles, cut out. So, see you soon. Fingers crossed. This works as planned. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
Almost there. <laughs> this is very tedious. <sighs> okay, that'll do. So that's something resembling a circle-like thing to go around the lock. And it needs to be whittled down quite a bit, but first I have to sharpen this guy up. Hmm. Might have cut that circle too big. <laughs> Let's see. So I made the hole at the top a little big, but that's okay. I'll clean it up and I think it'll look fine. So it's yet another tedious and ridiculous job brought to you by Portugal from scratch. It's a gorgeous evening. Can't believe I've been spending all day inside when it's so nice out here. Yeah, it's a stunning night. Perfectly still, beautiful skies. Looks like the rain is gone for the night. I'm tempted to go for a walk, but it's going to get dark pretty soon, so that's my excuse. But for now, it's time for work again. I took a little break in the afternoon. I went to Naptown for a while. I just finished some dinner, and now I'm ready to get back at it to finish this tiny little thing that I've been working on all day. So I'm determined to get it done and also to get the door done tonight. So let's go back into what looks a little less like a workshop now and is transformed back into my office. But I'm going to get the tools back out again and continue on with making tiny pieces of wood to cover a tiny area of my door. Did you have a nice snooze? He also had a nap. Yeah, it's comfy in there. I think you should go for a walk tonight. It is a lovely evening for cats. On you go. See you later. You enjoy your evening. Don't cause too much trouble. Okay, I have these two pieces ready to go in the door. And I'm going to make this piece to match these ones, and then I'm going to do the bottom, and then I'm going to call it a night.
so this is tricky to film. Time is of the essence. Glue is drying. I do love this tiny drill bit though, so I'm going to get some nails in this, put the other two pieces on, and check back in again, hopefully very soon. Okay, it's looking better than before. It needs a little cleaning up, it needs some linseed oil, and I need to put that final piece on the end. But I'm gonna leave that and the bottom for tomorrow. I'm really tired. I don't know why, but doing that finicky, slow carpentry takes it out of me. I'm tired, even though I've only done a very small amount as usual, although I have been doing some other stuff today as well. So I'm going to leave the bottom of the door until tomorrow. I'll attempt to attach this fuzzy doorstop thing onto the bottom of the door. And I'll also see if I can get the final piece onto the lock. I have to solve a problem before I can do that. I might ask your advice for that before I power through, though. And then I might also do some framing on the front of the cupboard, which I also would like some advice on as well. So I'm going to say goodnight. I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more slow, finicky carpentry. Good morning. It's a perfect day. It's so beautiful. The rains have cleared the air. There's even a slight chill, uh, but it's wonderful and sunny. And so I've moved the workshop operation from inside to outside, and I'm excited to get started. My only goal for this morning is to attach this fuzzy thing to the bottom of my door using this wood to sort of frame it up. I don't have a full plan as usual, but I have an idea of what I want to do. So let's get started. Chill in the air. It's already gone. It's still beautiful out here though in the sun, but it's starting to heat up. Good morning. How are you? Oh, you're busy. Okay. Bye. So I left this thing sitting out in the sun and it kind of got all warpy and curvy, which might make it very difficult to work with. So using this could be a mistake, especially since this thing only costs about four euros and I could easily pick up another one. But I'm going to give it a try because this is what I have and I just want to get it done. So fingers crossed it's okay. The idea is basically to uh, chisel out a section that will be the width of sort of this space that's needed here so that it sits flat against the door while encasing this thing inside it. I don't really like the look of this brown and I wanted to sort of frame it up and have it look a little nicer. I might even do an angle so that this piece sits further down on it. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I realize that this is probably a perfect job for the router, but I don't really like the router. I haven't found my love for it, so I'm going to avoid it, or will I? Maybe I'll use the router to try to get this angle. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get the router out and try to make an angle that fits in nicely with this angle here. I'm scared but excited. So I think I put these in the wrong spots, but this is the one I need. Uh, but I remember now why I don't really use the router very often. These larger ones are too big to fit in this hole. So I forget if it even works or not. I don't remember. Let me try to put the bit in and see if I can get this to go. Come on, don't let me down. Okay. Seems positive. I forget how to use this thing. 
I control the depth? This? So I guess to do the depth, I just uh, un undo it. Make it go a little like that. Oops. Um, I don't know if this is going to work. I have a feeling this wood is not going to about to guide. Okay, so if I go more shallow, then I can use this little wheel thing to guide along the edge of the wood. And if I don't, then I'd need to set up a whole other kind of guide separate to the wood, which I can't be bothered with, to be honest. So this might just take off a little bit of it. I don't really know. I really don't know. I have no idea. Let's see. What I will do is practice on this little piece of wood. I don't know if this is going to work. It's probably too short to be useful. So it made a little bit of a groove, but it's not exactly what I wanted to do. But I guess it'll help a little bit, and I can always adjust it later. Uh, I really don't know. Um, I can't lower this down anymore because the bit is actually too big to be in this thing and also spin. It gets caught on the bottom. So I think I have the wrong set of bits for the router that I have, which is kind of annoying, but, um, you know, I can probably use this bit. Which bit? Which bit do I want here? This bit? This bit to make a rounded edge for the top part. So maybe I'll do that. And I will make this edge on this piece. Uh, just because I want to practice using the router. I'm kind of intimidated by this machine. Anything I don't use very often, um, yeah, I don't really like to bring it out, but you have to use it to get good at it. So I'm going to try to make a little groovy thing on this piece and then a roundy thing on the other side. That's not so bad. It would be nice if it went the whole way. But it gives me a starting point, at least, and sort of nestles in there just a little bit better than it did before. So that's pretty cool. Now let me see about rounding off this top. Okay, the new bit is in. Hopefully it's adjusted to the right depth. Let's give this a go. It's not a lot, but it's enough, and though I could have done this with the orbital sander, it wouldn't have been quite as uniform, so I suppose I can see the purpose of a router in situations like this, and I'm happy I have the thing, I guess. I'll try to use it more often. But for now, it's back in the box for you, router, because even though I think I could use this machine for my next thing, I don't want to. I want to use chisels. So now I've got to just chop out a little bit of this to make a recess for the plastic thing to sit into. This looks really wavy from where I'm looking at it. I hope it works. Uh, of course I've just noticed that I'll actually be taking off this part where I made the little uh, angle. So there's really no point in doing that except for I guess to have some practice with the router. So let's get chiseling. I already know this is gonna be really, really slow and really, really finicky. I don't even know if it'll work. I should probably make cuts this way as well. Um, I really don't know what my strategy is here. It would appear I have no strategy. 
I'm just gonna hack at this thing for a little while and see if it breaks. And if it doesn't break, I'll continue to hack at it until either it does or until I have the piece I can use. So as always, please wish me luck. I have a feeling I'm gonna need it on this one. So with a lot of weirdly enjoyable effort, I chiseled out this sort of groove for this thing to sit inside. So it should, in theory, sort of go like that, sort of slide in there, and then look like that on the door. I am not happy with this though. The thing is too twisty and curvy and the tape doesn't work anymore because I just left it outside somewhere. Um, so I'm going to spend the four euros and I'm going to pick up another one. It's just going to be easier to install and it's kind of an important piece of the door. I don't want to screw it up. So I won't get this on today. I also need to get some finer sanding things for this. I couldn't find them in the shop. This is 40 grit and that's the best I could do. So I want something a lot finer to make this nice and smooth. And I also need to get turpentine to mix with the linseed oil so I can oil everything up. So I've got a shopping trip in my future, but I won't get to that probably until next week. So I'm not going to get this on in the video, but it is ready to go and I'm really happy with it and I'm excited I used the router. So it's been very enjoyable working outside again. I've already made a mess of this temporary little workshop. I tend to make messes very quickly and I've enjoyed using the chisel, but now let's go inside. I'm going to wrap the video up. I've got a couple things I'd love some suggestions on. So let's take a look and I'll see if maybe people can give me some ideas. Okay, my first question is what to do about the door for the cupboard. I'm going to have a piece going across here and it's going to have some ventilation, sort of a grate up at the top, but then beneath it, I'm going to have a door. My two options are having a sort of double door so that I can gain access very easily to the entire width of the cupboard. But my preferred option, and I don't know if it'll look weird or not, is to have the piece going across there, but then to run a piece of wood down and to have a more narrow door along with a, a sort of short section of permanent wall. I don't know if I'm explaining myself very well, but the reason for that would be to kind of give the solar a little buffer. Uh, I could probably run a little protection thing across it, maybe some pieces of wood or something, some slats, and it allows me just to like access the cupboard without having to worry too much about hitting things. Everything's fine except the battery is a little bit wobbly on there. Another thing to think about is the opening of the doors. If I do a double door, I'll always have to open both sides to get in. This would be too narrow for me to actually fit in there and do anything. So there's not really any advantage to that. Um, the only advantage would be just more space for me to walk in if I have this full area as the door. But then the solar's there anyway, and I don't know, it just seems kind of strange. So I'm leaning towards doing a little wall, having a smaller door. The door would open this way, so it's not so in the way. I can kind of maybe store some firewood and stuff under there in the winter and just open it and reach in and get it out. Also, I have a lot more confidence in my abilities to build a wall than I do to build doors. So I'd much rather just have to mess around with one door than making two. So that's another thing to consider. But I just don't know if I'm missing something. So if anybody out there has any thoughts on this, do let me know if there's something I'm not thinking of. If you have any other ideas um, or suggestions on how to make this work, I'd love to hear them. Uh, so that's one thing that's on my mind. The second thing is the door lock. So as things are right now, I when I open the door, I just reach, pull it, and it unlocks, and it's all good. It's not that difficult to reach in and get that thing, but eventually I want to cover this part over, and I could leave a little space where I can still reach in and grab it, but it's quite difficult to kind of get a hold of, so I want to do something where I end up adding something onto this that's maybe a bigger thing to grab onto. My idea is to try to drill a hole through this, put a screw or something, and try to attach something onto that that means I can kind of pull it out uh, and have a bigger thing to grip onto. I don't really know. I can take these two pieces off while I do the work, so I'll have some flexibility. I could even make a, a wider sort of thing. 
Uh, yeah, I, I really don't know. Uh, I'm open to suggestions on this as well. So please do chime in if you have any thoughts on what to do about the door opening thingamajiggy. Okay, let's wrap the video up there. It's been one of contrasts. We've had the changing of the seasons going from 40 degree, brutally hot weather to rainy, beautiful weather, and now to sticky, humid weather. And I've also done chainsawing on giant logs along with intricate, finicky carpentry on tiny pieces of wood. So it's been kind of a funny video of incomplete jobs, but what else is new? Things will get done when they get done. And I just have to accept that my pace it's just going to be what it is, and sometimes things will go faster and sometimes they'll go slower. So I didn't get everything done that I wanted to today, but I'll finish it once I get a chance to go into the shops, and I'll share that with you when I do. So thanks for watching, as always. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment if you have any suggestions, especially about the door in the closet, or if you just want to say hello. Whatever. I love hearing from people. Thanks for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next video.